Dimitri, if you're ready. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, hello, my name is Dimitri Lissacados. I'm a Provident resident, Providence resident and a small business owner. And I'm here today to voice my opinion on certain firearm legislation that is being debated. First of all, I'd like to say, to state my opposition to House Bills H7243, H7283, H75, sorry, H7575, H7199, H7535, H7419, H7683, H7799, H7850, and H7853. In my opinion, these bills do not serve the safety interests of the public and only further infringe on the constitutional rights of gun owners. One bill in particular strikes me as an extremely hypocritical bill, and that would be House Bill 7575, the Protect Rhode Island Families Act. While I understand the objective of protecting victims of domestic abuse, the avenue that this bill takes to achieve its objective is unsound. I am sure that you're aware that protective orders can be placed on an individual who has not been convicted of a crime. They may be obtained simply by filing paperwork and an affidavit. Besides the fact that this is direct violation of due process, this type of legislation leaves the door open for widespread abuse when people in domestic relationships are looking to cause problems for their partners. Besides these issues, I'm extremely troubled that the men and women who introduced this bill seem to believe that not all citizens are created equal. On page two of this bill, line 15 through 23, they read as follows. The prohibition against the firearm due solely to the existence of a domestic violence restraining order issued under this section shall not apply with respect to sworn peace officers as, design, as defined in 12721 general laws and active duty members of the military service. And then it goes on to talk about the reserves and everything else. Um, according to the National Center for Women, and policing, police family values, a violence fact sheet, studies have found that at least 40% of police officers' families experience domestic violence, in contrast to 10% of families in the general population. A third, of, a third study of older and more experienced police officers found a rate of 24%, indicating that domestic violence is two to four times more common amongst police families than American families in general. A police department that has domestic violence offenders amongst, it, amongst its ranks will not effectively serve and protect victims in the community. Moreover, when officers know of domestic violence committed by their colleagues and seek to protect them by covering it up, they expose the department to civil liability. And this comes from, the depart uh, from women in policing. Is the public supposed to believe that this bill serves the interest of all domestic violence victims when it does not apply to a particular demographic? Are we supposed to believe that law enforcement officers who are perpetrators of domestic violence can somehow be immune to violent behavior when they're on duty? These types of double standards are a slap in the face to both domestic abuse victims and gun owners who have never been convicted of a domestic crime. Thank you.